So it has been, oh, maybe two weeks, possibly three, since I put my dreads in last. And I'm taking them out because not tomorrow, but the next day, I'm going to be wearing a wig for a costume. And it's a short hair wig, so all these dreads won't fit under there. Um, but I wanted to show you the effects after, you know, two or three weeks um, of wearing it. You can see I have a little bit of settling here at the root, like maybe an inch of hair just where, you know, it kind of tightened and loosened down. That usually happens about mm, two days. After two days of having the dreads in, it's just, it's as settled as, it, settled as it's going to get. Um, but I like that because it lets me kind of get in there to wash because I do shower, I, I shower every day, but um, either shower or bath, but I wash my hair only like every three or four days, um, just whenever I start to feel like I need it. Um, and I just leave the dreads in whenever I shower. I try to shower uh, whenever before bed and then I'll sleep on a, with a towel on my pillow and just to kind of help wick up any of the moisture, but I don't like having a damp head all day, and usually just the heat, um, you know, of my head as I'm sleeping will dry it out, because, like, during the day, I hate leaving my hair down whenever it's wet, um, or damp even, because it does take a little while for the dreads to dry completely, and so I'll keep wanting to, like, put it up, but I need to leave it down and let it be, you know, air out and dry completely as quickly as possible, um, and so whenever I go to bed, I'll just leave it down and I'll like spread my hair over like the pillow. So it's like one, one layer all splayed out and then I'll just sleep like, <laughs> but you can see I'm just coming through and unbraiding all of the braids that we'd put in. And I used to only braid it to like this point and then put a tie here. That way I would have loose hair as well as the dreads, and it gave a lot of volume, uh, and it looked nice. Uh, I, I liked it, um, but it was a lot more maintenance because the hair that was loose would kind of mat and felt to the wool dreads. Now this one was not a wool dread. This is a hand-wrapped hair wrap that I had made um, years ago out of just acrylic yarn, like Red Heart acrylic yarn. Um, but I like them. I like to put in some different stuff into my hair. And you can see it leaves, I love that, that texture. Uh, so I always have really great volume, um, whenever I removed all of the, uh, dreads because it's all just like kinked and very, very big hair and I like it. Uh, not for every day, but it's fun to play with. And so I'm just going to come through. This is one of the wool ones from dreadsforest.com. It's just felted wool. Um, not dreadsforest.com. It's her Etsy store is dreadsforest. And you can see that orthodontics rubber bands for like on braces holds up fantastically. Like you can almost use them twice. So but they're affordable affordable enough that you don't have to, but reuse as much as possible but yeah they hold up great um and you can see I leave the top half of my head like really from here up doesn't have any dreads in it um and that way I can still do um slightly more mundane styles and you can see it's just undoing perfectly well um from even the wool but yeah, whenever I would leave the hair loose, it would kind of just felt to itself and I'd have like these knots and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not doing something to my hair that takes even more maintenance. Um, and what I really like most of all about the dreads is eh, it's not quite like a hair shirt um, type situation, but my dreads are a constant reminder of the goals that I have. It's whenever I put them in, I put them in with intent. And it, it's like a, an active, crafty meditation where I'm just, you know, focusing on things that I want to work towards. And so every time I style my hair with my dreads and it's refocusing, you know, me mentally on these things that I want to be working towards. Um, and it's just, I don't know, I really like it personally. Uh, 
but I don't quite have it in me to do full dreads, like proper actual dreads. Just um, with some uh, the eczema and stuff, it's I, I really like to be able to get to my scalp and um, maintain it and take care of it and stuff. But that and I just love the way feeling a brush through my hair feels. So, but yeah, I love all. Oh, texture and you can see up top I completely my perm fell out like the perm lasted about as long as uh, the smell did now see this one the orthodontics band came off but there's no telling how long ago that happened but my proper like my actual hair felted a little bit to the wool but that's all right so I'm just sliding it off And it just keeps coming off. So I guess technically you wouldn't have to use the rubber band. I prefer it just because I did have one dread just slip out entirely on me. It was one that was at the very base of my neck. So I think my pillowcase actually like just ate through <laughs> and then my hair just wiggled its way out of it. So, but um, it is pretty easy to style with the dreads in. I think I'll demonstrate that in a different part of the video. But uh, I really like just, it makes it, I can throw it up and do a bun and it looks to me more like I feel more confident than whenever I just have a plain old bun in. So you can see, that's how they look. It's a little kinky on this side, so next time. I'll braid it down that the other side just to because I like that texture and I just keep on keeping on I really love these wounds and these are gosh at least 10 washes with just shampoo um, yeah all these ones on the bottom the rubber bands seem to have come off but I think that's where they come in these are the ones that are the most stressed with my hair ties and with like uh, sleeping on my pillow and stuff so this is this is how I take it out just one dread at a time I usually will throw on uh, a show or a YouTube or something and then I'll just hang out and take my dreads out I try to not go up too many wraps like I usually I'll skip two like braid repetitions and then just pull on out that way. There we go. Another dread. They're a little faster to take out than they are to put in, not gonna lie. <laughs> and, oh man, if I had a friend or somebody who could do this for me, like, and maybe not the taking them out, but the putting them in, because whenever you do, like, the little divide lines and stuff, I'm not very good at getting them very straight. It's hard to see what's going on in the back of your head. So I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, so I have all the braids out. And this is my hair with the dreads out after it's been brushed. <laughs> so definitely fluffy, but I love that kind of volume and texture. It's just, it can be a little unruly um, when it's like this. And down here, it's actually, the hair is very dry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I put an oil treatment in my hair and then leave it in um, overnight. And then I'll shampoo with a co-wash tomorrow. Um, and then after I do the costume with the wig, then I will put my dreads back in. <laughs> so... That's my hair. <laughs> and I, you can see there's not really much curl left. I actually lost the natural curl that I did have from the perm uh, that I had prior to the perm. It just, it kind of just all went flat. Um, but I like it. So I especially like the poof. Uh, but so I'll go ahead and get the oil treatment and the co-wash and everything done and then I'll meet you guys back here I'm trying to think of how I'm going to edit this uh 
yeah i'll meet you guys back here for something i don't know if it'll be to show you how to put them in or some different ways to style it or what <laughs> Hey guys, so uh, earlier in the video I showed you how I take my dreads out, now I'm going to be showing you how I put them in. My hair is washed, dried, no product in it with the exclusion of I've treated it with this argan oil, not, I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, but it's repairing shine hair oil. I just like the way it smells. I am using wool dreads from Dreads Forest. These ones, these were the cheetah color. It's a really nice like uh, chestnut brown and orange. And then I also have some handmade wool dreadlocks that I'll be showing you guys how to do in another video. I didn't make these ones. I got them from a lovely lady up in Kentucky like a million years ago. Um, but I am gonna be showing you how to make your own. Uh, that's for a different video though. I couldn't find my rat tail comb. <laughs> so I'm using a paintbrush and I have some hair ties for holding my hair up. I would like to begin with a disclaimer that I am in no way or form a professional. This is just how I do my hair. So if you're going to be cri critical, please be constructively critical. Don't tell me I'm doing something wrong if you're not going to tell me how to do it correctly because otherwise like, what's the good in that? Um, so I'm going to start from, I hope you guys can hear me okay because I'm talking that way, but I'm going to start from the base of my neck. Um, Trying to keep my lines as straight as possible, this is a lot easier to do if you have a friend to help you, or if you're doing the dreads, or dread extensions rather, on another friend. But I have me, so this is where the rat tail comb comes in, or paintbrush in this case. And I'm just going to make sure that I get Just a straight line across. The wider and larger of a strip that you do, the more hair is going to be in each section, and that's a little less pressure on your head. So if this is your first time putting in your dreads, I would recommend like a square inch worth of hair just to kind of get a feel for it and start with just one. I usually wear anywhere from 20 to 40 dreads in my hair, um, and these are double-ended, uh, so... That's my comfort range, and it's taken me a while to build up to that, though. So, uh, start with one and then move forward from there, especially if you're tender headed. So, now I'm going to come in and just section off a little bit. You're going to have a much more comfortable time if your lines are actually square as opposed to curved one way or another. That's whenever you're going to be getting um, a lot of cooling and stuff, and it'll be, it just, it's a lot easier to clean it. Um, like clean your hair whenever everything's sorted. I try to braid down the sides that don't have the beads on them. So I'm gonna take this dread and you don't have to have them lined up perfectly. You could actually have them offset a little bit if you want a little less thick, but a little bit more long. I'm looking for volume here. So I'm doing it just right down the middle. Lining up this center part with the base of my hair. And then I'm coming in just with a little clip to provide a third hand. Sorry for traffic noises. And then I'm going to take my hair and section it off into two pieces and then just do a regular braid where the dread is the third length of hair. And Trying to make sure that I'm not snagging any loose hairs in with anything. And so now from here, we're going to turn around and I just continue. I braid all the way down. I used to leave my regular hair out, um, you know, after braiding just a little ways. It just made maintenance, I think, a lot more difficult than what it needed to be. Um, and. Randy said he thought it looked cuter with the uh, the braid braided in all the way, like my hair braided in all the way. <clears throat> but, um, so to each your own. I did find, though, especially with the wool dreads and if your hair has a coarse texture, I used to have a finer texture to my hair, but then I got a perm and now it's, like, fried. Um, so that's why I actually keep it up in the dreads more than anything, because otherwise, as a person with curly hair, 
um, I'd be having to brush my hair every single day to, oh, careful, Katie, to keep the mats and stuff out of it. And it, so my curls were just, I don't know if, the, if that's in frame, but <laughs> so they're not dreadlocks, they're cat toys. I, I don't wear 20 to 40 dreadlocks. I wear 20 to 40 cat toys at any given time, which is good. I think, I think that's all right. So you can see my hair is getting pretty thin here at the tip. And so I'm just taking some super stretch. Uh, got these from like Sally's, I think. There will be links to everything as well as I can find down below. But just a little stretchy band. And you don't have to cinch it on there too hard. But uh, I think I, I think I didn't finish that thought. Um, the wool will actually mat and dread to your hair. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you leave it loose. I don't have any problem at all with it whenever it's braided down the full length. Just like that. <laughs> Kelly. Um, but yeah, that's how I put in. Ooh, that's my... <laughs> Careful, Claus. <laughs> She's rambunctious. Um, <laughs> that's how I put in one of my wool dreadlocks. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest of my head and then show you guys the finished results and how I like to style it after that. So thanks for, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, we got you. <laughs> we got you on camera being a little turd. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I am back again a couple days later, um, but for you, it's not a couple days. Magic of editing. Anyways, um, again, my hair is washed, dried, no product in it. I usually use some sort of hair lotion, but I just didn't really feel like it. Um, my gloriously receding hairline that's gently starting to come back in with the persistent use of Rogaine, like you can kind of maybe see the little baby hairs that are coming back in um for the longest time i would glue my horns right there and it would rip my hairs out and so to try to keep those hair follicles like growing and alive i've been using the men's five percent um rogaine just because um if y'all have any tips and tricks for how to get my hair to grow back i would love to hear about those so i'm going to go through with a rat tail comb and just separate out some front sections. This is one of my go-to ways for styling my hair and also trying to keep the stress off of my front hairline because in addition to gluing on cosplay horns and ripping them off, you know, three days out of the week, um, I also wore very tight buns with my hair pulled back almost all of the time. So you can see I've got this front section Separated out a little bit at ear tails. Yeah. And now from the back side, you'll be able to see I'm separating out just the top like two thirds of my hair and dreads. And I'm bringing it up into a very high bun. I'm using one of, there'll be links to everything that I'm using down below. This is a good look, right? I'm using one of these, these guys, my friend Lauren got me turned on to. And just looping through once, twisting, and then feeding through for a half bun, which gives me enough height that I have to move the camera. And then I can just kind of primp and fluff that bun around. The dreads give it some additional volume, which I think is very nice. And then I'm going to be taking, yeah, you can see half of the remaining dreads, a bit on each side, and bringing them around to the front and just tying in a knot. Now you can see I'm going to take this part and just continue wrapping it around and it's just tucked on through there and then I'm going to take this part wrap it around and tuck through there 
And then I'm going to take these last bits and bring it up and around. And just again, doing a little knot. Trying to not catch any loose hairs. Pulling it down, and then tucking and tucking. And with the thinner bits, you may want to tuck multiple times. And so that's how I get it in the back. A little bit of fluffy hanging out. If I've gone through and curled and used styling product in my hair, I'll often have some cute little curls coming out the back. Um, and now for here in the front, we have some different options. You can leave it down loose. I normally would like kind of thin trim that down a little bit. So, but I don't know. If I had a little bit more of a neck, maybe I would do that. Like Ramona Flowers style a little bit. Uh, where did I have? There they are. I grow little piles of bobby pins everywhere. So I have five bobby pins here. Just regular, straight on one side. Hashtag big forehead is good for something. Sorry, I don't know why I do that. Um, so just using regular old bobby pins. And I like to give a little bit of a bump in volume in the top. So I'm going to separate out just a little bit because again, the hair is not only thin there, but it's it's also bleached like just from sun exposure. So I'm loosening up my edges, letting out those baby hairs because I don't want any stress on them as they're starting to grow out. And it gets bothersome like in my eyeballs sometimes, <sighs> but I'd rather have my hair grow back. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a loose twist and then nestle that right there on the top of my head and bobby pin it. Just right across, boop. And so that can get kind of tucked up and under my dreads. And then we're gonna come down into this next section, adding in layers. You can see how I stealthily try to comb over. Everybody knows this is, but it makes me feel better and that's the point. Um, just kind of stacking and adding in into this little like side twist though so I think I'm gonna do two side twists so I'm bringing that up and in and just body pinning right there and then taking the rest and twisting it up together and I'm actually gonna bobby pin this in and among my dreads my dread extensions pinning right on in just like that and so now here on the other side I still have two bobby pins left so I'm going to do the same splitting up into five sections just separating out doing a little bit of a twist and instead of pulling tight the way I normally would I give it a little bit of a bump anything to take that tension off of my hairline so it's if I could go back to 20 year old bond and tell her to not wear a tight bun for 10 years I would do that. I mean, there's more important things that I could say, like, oh, don't build up student loan debt. But um, if I had one frivolous thing, there's probably more important things. But <laughs> I've also been taking a hair, skin, and nail supplement and just trying to generally eat healthier and drink a bunch of water. And I figure, worst case scenario, I'll just be funny looking. That's already the case, so that works out pretty well for me because Randy likes me like that. And so far, he's really the only one that I need to impress on a daily basis, so... Then we still got a little random bit. We could curl that if I felt like heating up the iron, but I'm just going to tuck it in with my dreads. And that's how I do my hair. I love the little, I used to always tuck these up and back, but I'm starting to really like how they look. Kind of just climbing down the sides of my cheeks. Because um, it, honestly, it blends in with my billy goat beard that's, just since I started using Rogaine, I'm growing hair everywhere, but I would rather pluck than have the problems that I was having. <laughs> so, just pretend like it's natural. <laughs> Sorry, I, I honestly feel like if I can't, you know, laugh about it, then what am I going to do? This was actually, is actually, a bracelet or necklace that was sent to me. It can be worn either way. And 
if you're watching this, the kind lady who made this to me, whose information I have lost because I'm a bad person, I love it and I wear it almost every day because it makes me feel super fancy and special. But she makes beautiful jewelry, like the color schemes and the macrame and just all of it. It's fantastic. Um, so if you're watching this, leave your info down below. <laughs> that way other people can go give you money. Um, and whenever I'm feeling super fancy, I like to just twist it around. You bring it either the top, but I like to do it around the bottom. Just bringing it up kind of in the center, crossing it up top, kind of like a headband. And then I wrap it around my dread situation and do the little button closure. And I don't know, that makes me really happy to wear it. Just because why not wear jewelry in your hair? I mean, honestly. <laughs> but um, this is my number one way to style and wear my dreads. Uh, it is my go-to. It's just, I, I can't really call it subtle, but I can wear it out in public and not feel like I'm in costume. Like I've got more extravagant hairstyles that I wear whenever I'm in costume or at conventions. And because a big part of what got me into costuming and things was it was a conversation starter. Whenever it's Sunday at a convention and people have already walked by your booth a hundred times and you know, there's a bunch of other vendors in the room if they like your costume, you know, if it catches their eye, then it's just a way to bring me, who's normally, like, you wouldn't believe it, but I'm kind of shy around strangers. Like, I can talk all day to y'all, <laughs> but whenever I'm in a room full of strangers, it's like, I'm like, oh, I'll just sit here. Um, I, I do well as a wallflower, but it's, it was a way to pull me out of my shell, and so this is something that helps me feel like I can come out of my shell and interact with people and like it's again another conversation starter because as shy as I can be at times as introverted as I can be I really just secretly want to talk to you about everything like I want to hear your life story I wanna, like everything I'm like <laughs> so please leave your life story down below if you feel inclined or just if you have any questions comments or ideas because I really genuinely do love hearing from you guys like y'all have made YouTube into something really special for me and that's become a huge part of my life so thank you guys for that and uh thank you for being interested in my hair because i'm into like this is fun for me like i grew up like such a tomboy this now and it's, it's nothing wrong with being a tomboy it's just on the inside i wanted to be wearing a tutu and covered in glitter and i had to come to terms with it's okay to do archery in a tutu it's okay to roll in the mud dressed up like a pretty elf like it's okay you guys so I'll get off my soapbox and let y'all get back to your day. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. All the links to my social media and stuff are down below. If you do your hair like this or however way, please feel free to tag me. I'd love to see it. Um, check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel. And other than that, I will see y'all in my next video. So happy crafting, y'all. I actually just remembered. I can't remember from shooting this for my vlog or for my main channel. So, ah, bye, guys. <laughs> bye.